Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. So now I'm going to start a new subject that is computerized accounting. I got so many requests from my viewers, from my subscribers to start this subject. So ultimately I've decided now to start the subject of computerized accounting. So in this video, I'm going to explain you the basics about the meaning of computerized accounting, the features of computerized accounting, the advantages, limitations of computerized accounting and the differences between manual accounting and computerized accounting. Later on, the five units which I'm going to cover up in this subject are, first of all, maintaining the chart of accounts in ERP. Secondly, maintaining the stock keeping units. Third one is recording the day-to-day -day transactions. Next one is managing the account receivable and accounts payable. And lastly, MIS reports in ERP. These are the five topics I'm planning to cover up in the coming videos. So keep watching till the end to get the complete command on the subject of computerized accounting apart from this i have already uploaded so many subjects videos like financial accounting advanced accounting cost accounting corporate accounting advanced corporate accounting managerial accounting income tax statistics all these things i have uploaded in my playlist so go to the playlist select the videos you want watch the video definitely you will increase you can be able to increase your knowledge now computerized accounting Accounting already we know it's a science and art of recording the business transactions in order to prepare the financial reports, financial statements. So two types of accounting are there manual accounting and computerized accounting. Manual accounting means when accounts are maintained manually on the paper, in the registers, all the accounts are maintained, processed on paper records that is called manual accounting. So earlier manual accounting was in, uh, I mean, that all earlier manual accounting was used, but nowadays every business is using computerized accounting. By using the information technology in, compu uh, in this accounting field, we can be able to perform the accounting with the help of computers. So what is the meaning of the term computerized accounting? Computerized accounting refers to the accounting system which helps in maintain and processing the business transactions. The business transactions can be maintained and processed with the help of computers as per the GAAP, generally accepted accounting principles. That means while maintaining computerized accounting, we are following the generally accepted accounting principles of accounting and in order to provide the financial reports. Why these accounts are maintained and processed? Ultimately, to produce the reports, financial reports, accounting reports, which are required by the users and a number of other, I mean, uh, parties who are having a stake in the business. So these users require the financial information and this financial information will be provided by computerized accounting. So the introduction of computerized accounting replaced the manual accounting system. The earlier manual accounting system were used, now it is replaced by computerized accounting system where all the accounting will be done through computers. Then the accounting information is available only on a click. Earlier manually we have to prepare all the reports all the financial statement statements etc but with the help of computerized accounting simply by a click by a click of the mouse we can be able to get the required reports then a computerized accounting system follows all the rules and procedure maintaining for accounting that means this computerized accounting is also following all the principles and rules which are required in accounting that's why we can say the GAAP is followed by this computerized accounting in order to process, in order to maintain, process the records and also to prepare the financial statements. This is the meaning of the term computerized accounting. Using the computer in order to process the accounting information. That is computerized accounting. Now what are the advantages? Many advantages are there of computerized accounting. That's why this computerized accounting is widely used in every business to process the business information, the financial transactions. 
Now what are the advantages? The first advantage high speed. So comparatively the speed of computer is high. That means a large volume of transactions can be easily processed, can be easily maintained with the help of computers. The first advantage, the speed is very high compared to manual accounting. Next one is manual work. When we use computerized accounting, the manual work will be, will be reduced, will be reduced. So little effort, human effort is required to maintain the computerized accounting. Less paperwork is required, less manual work is required. So manual paperwork will get reduced while using this computerized accounting. That's the advantage. Next one is accuracy. So comparatively, there are more chances of errors in manual accounting. But less errors are there in computerized accounting. So accuracy of maintaining the accounts will increase in computerized accounting. Next one is efficiency. efficient. This computerized accounting is more efficient compared to manual accounting because we are using the technology, we are using the machines. So it will process the data very fast. So reports are more accurate, efficient reports we can be able to prepare. Decision making. The management will get instant reports, instant information from accounting. Management's main job is decision making and for decision making we require the information. So if we keep computerized accounting, the processing of information will be fast and accurate, timely, prompt information can be given to the management. So the management decision making area will improve. That means the quality of decisions taken by the management will be effective. That is the advantage. Next advantage is store and retrieval. The accounting information can be stored in different uh, I mean, uh, devices. Like the data can be stored on hard disk. The data can be stored in pen drive or different devices are there where we can store the different data. And whenever we want, we can retrieve the data. That's the advantage. Next one is updated information. That means the data, uh, the data stored in the computers can be updated from time to time. It is not like once the data is entered, it will be as it is kept. No, we can be able to update the data. Next one is confidentiality. That means the data stored in the computers, computerized accounting can be, I mean, uh, make confidential by using the password, by login by login information, by password information, we can be able to maintain the confidentiality of the data. Next, user friendly. The computerized accounting can be user friendly because the computer accounting package can be made tailor-made. That means according to our requirement, according to our information, we can appoint a programmer and he will make a computerized accounting program according to our needs. So it will become user friendly. So it is not a, I mean, a common purpose accounting package. There are many tailor-made accounting package also. According to our need, the accounting package software can be made. Next, understandable and legible. The reports provided by computerized accounting are more legible, understandable, easily we can understand. That means a number of graphical reports, a number of diagrammatic reports, the different types of reports can be prepared by the computerized accounting which will be helpful. Come on, we have discussed about the advantages of computerized accounting. Now I am going to explain you about the features of computerized accounting. The first feature is accuracy and speed. Compared to manual accounting, computerized accounting has more accurate reports and also the speed at which the processing will be done will be very high. A large number of transactions can easily be processed in a fast manner in case of computerized accounting. So first feature accuracy and speed will be very very high in computerized accounting. Secondly, improve user free experience. Improve user-free experience means easily we can adapt the system of computerized accounting because it is user-friendly. Easily a person can learn accounting system on computers. So there is a second advantage, not much uh, I, mean, uh, I mean experience is required. Easily we can learn computerized accounting. Third one, instant reporting. Just by a click of the mouse, 
we can be able to get instant reports on different aspects of accounting that is advantage next one is quick decision making because the information is generated so fast so at any time accounting information is available for decision making so management can take prompt efficient decisions because instant reports are available from accounting next one is reliability we can rely on the reports because the reports are more accurate more prompt the reliability of accounting information will be high when accounts are done on computers then security we can make i mean uh, good foolproof security on computerized accounting by giving the password by using login information so security will be high next one is simple and integrated the computerized accounting is not a complicated system it's very simple and we can integrate the different aspects of accounting the different aspects are purchasing or storekeeping or finance all these data can be integrated easily then next one is supremacy it is supreme this computerized accounting is supreme in the sense that we can be able to integrate all the different aspects of the business organization the different aspects like marketing sales or production or purchase all these things all these things can be integrated and also we can store the data we can retrieve the data at any time without any difficulty so comparatively compared to manual accounting this is more supreme the computer is decoding next to total visibility we can get the complete data we can get the complete reports in graphical form in diagrammatic form in tabular form all these things the visibility will be more lastly scalability that means the computerized accounting can be scaled can be changed according to the growth of the business according to the growth of the business we can be able to change the scale scale of uh, computerized accounting so these are some of the features of computerized accounting so we have discussed the meaning of the term computerized accounting advantages and features now lastly i want to explain you because in examination frequently it will be asked what are the differences between computerized accounting and manual accounting so many differences are there few of the difference first one in manual accounting it's a system where physical records the physical records of journal and ledger are maintained to record all the transactions so all the business transactions will be recorded manually in journal and ledger physical i mean records are kept whereas in case of computerized accounting the system is in computer and accounting software hardware and software are required for maintaining all the business transactions so digitally we can be able to maintain all the business transactions with the use with the use of hardware computer and also software the next one the entire calculations are done manually in this system the totaling casting every the everything should be done manually so there are more chances of errors calculating errors in manual accounting here automatically the calculations will be done by the software the computer the computerized accounting package the software will take care of automatically calculating all the data then financial transactions are recorded through books of original entry in the system so the system is first of all the transaction will be recorded in the journal books of original entry that is the first step in manual accounting but in case of computerized accounting directly it will be posted to the concerned ledger accounts so one step is uh, i mean avoided no need to pass the entry in the books of original entry. directly it can be uh, the the system stores the data content of transaction in a structured database that means we are preparing the chart of accounts in those chart of accounts automatically the transactions will be entered so in this system searching of relevant information consume much time if you want to search for some information it will require more time in case of manual accounting but searching of information is quick instant in case of computerized accounting that it will take less time in searching for information it is usually slow in calculations when manual accounting is maintained the calculations 
will take more time slow calculations but in case of computerized accounting the calculations will be very fast because mechanically it is doing then backing up of business data is very difficult to store storage of data backing up of data is difficult in case of manual accounting because all these things are in ledgers in journal in physical records form books are maintained so it will be difficult to store the data to retrieve the data but in case of computerized accounting storage is very easy backing up is very easy because we can make up the backup in uh, pen drive or any other backup storage device <coughs> Next, final accounts are prepared only at the end of the financial year. The financial statements consisting of income statement or statement of financial position, these are normally made at the end of the year. But in case of computerized accounting, the financial statements can be made at any time by a click. By a click, we can be able to get. Lastly, trial balance is prepared whenever we require. In case of manual accounting, that means trial balance can be prepared whenever we require at the end of the month or at the end of the year. But in case of computerized accounting, even the trial balance can be prepared every day. Every day we can be able to make the trial balance. So these are some of the differences between manual accounting and computerized accounting. So we have completed the basic information about the computerized accounting. In the next video, I'll start up the first unit that is maintaining the chart of accounts in ERP. So you make a screenshot of this screen consisting of meaning of chart, computerized accounting, the features, advantages and differences of computerized accounting and manual accounting.